it's Geeky here and today I'm doing a top 5 review. This is my top 5 worst Transformers in my collection. Number 5 is The Ark from Dark of the Moon. And it's boring. It's, it's so dull. You only get one little Legends figure and it's this guy, he's pretty awesome I probably will do a review of him when I do my next mini bot roundup but this, this is crap just what's it supposed to do? what's it it doesn't feature anywhere in the film, it does crap, it's just rubbish I only paid a tenner for it and even then I felt cheated Ah, it's just rubbish. There's nothing interesting on it. I mean, you can move stuff on it, like on this side. You've got these little, this little Stargate thing here, I suppose. And there's a table, and there's a, la a ramp, and a gun. If you ever shot it on the inside, you'd kill anyone on it. Something here. I don't know. You've got this bit. That does there. It's all pretty much pointless. I'm not a big fan of mini bots, and it's just crap. Next on my list at number four is Human Alliance Roadbuster. This thing is a nightmare to transform into vehicle mode. In places, you're left with gaps that are bigger than that trench in Star Wars. None of it likes to stay together. There's pointless having a little person to go in it because the doors don't open for you to get him in there. Let's go like that and crap like that. It's a yeah, horrible figure. Here we have Roadbuster in robot mode and it's a terrible design. He comes with two weapons, a gun flamethrower thing and a chainsaw but the worst thing about it is the articulation it's so basic it's it's a you know it's a 30 pound transformer that's got the articulation of a basic it's got some articulation at the knee some there a little bit there a little bit there touch any of this central part here it will pop out and fall to pieces it's got an annoying little gimmick here where you Sunglasses, yay! Sunglasses, yay! Pretty worthless. But he's not the worst at the moment, so let's go on to the next one. Next on the list at number three is Energon Stormjet. And if you have this figure, then you know what the problems he has. First thing he's sagging in the middle because of this this port here, which likes to pop off at a moment's notice. His legs are mistransformed or misassembled. They should the yellow parts here should be here. Rather annoying little bigger. If he wasn't part of the Superior Maximus Combiner, which is probably one of the better looking ones, I wouldn't have bought him. I paid full price for him. I got him in actually no not full price. I got him in a I got him in a set with like the other combiners. Combined he's alright, but like this it's bland and awful. Here's Storm Jet in robot mode, and as you can see it does get a little bit better. He's got a nice head sculpt, but he is completely hollow on the inside. These panels here they do nothing. They're not really shown in the instructions how they work. They don't really do anything because you write through them. Moving his arms is a bit awkward because as soon as you do, they move out of the spots there. Then the head moves and all of that. As the combined combined body, he's great. This mode, no. And good luck trying to get his knees to go for Get some knee articulation out of him. Because it only goes that way. It's a common fault on these, and I can't fix it. I can't even take it apart. So, yeah. 
when you next see him, he'll be part of the combiner review. In at number two is um, Blazemaster from Revenge of the Portman. And as you can see, you can see, probably see why I have him at number two. He doesn't like to stay together. In fact, he falls apart quite regularly. That's his foot. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried to keep this guy together, short super gluing him. But nothing. He just does not want to stay together at all. I can get close, but as soon as I pick him up or put him down, he pops apart again. And he just likes to fall apart. Why for yay? And here we have Eva, well not Evac, Blazemaster in robot mode. I, I stumbled on Evac because I actually repainted re him into Evac in this line. And this guy is fecking ugly. It could scare Rocky Dennis. It's that, it's that bad. His rotors turn into two weapons which he's supposed to be able to hold. But I can't see any hands on him to hold them. So that was a waste of time. Thanks Hasbro for that. Yeah, this thing is hideous. I kept him in a bag for the past three years. And in at number one on my list of the absolute worst Transformers in my collection is this guy. This is Marvel's crossovers Thor. And he is a sight for Thor eyes as well. He is an absolutely hideous figure. Not only with the color, not only is the color scheme garish, he's also completely loose as well. And the only place you can store his weapon is rather unfortunate. I suppose he has to clench to hold it. Just take that out. As you can see, he's a hot mess. Uh, nothing likes to stay pegged in like that. He can flap. These never like to stay in and like to fold out flat. It's a really horrible figure in jet mode. And here we have Thor in robot mode. Yeah. There's lots of nice detailing on him. Like around his head. His head is fantastically detailed. Lovely detailing on his arms here when they can work. Very awkward. Problems that from the plane mode still follow over into the robot mode, like this part. And I wasn't lying when he said he has to clench to hold his weapon in. But he's got inconsistent knee joints. They're either like that, or as you saw, like that. These don't like to stay into place. The torso doesn't like to stay in place. The arms, they're okay, they work. He can hold his hammer as well, although not really securely. Head likes to pop in and out of the, the socket at the top here because the body can't hold it. And we come to the cape, which is formed by the wings, which... Ugh, it's not a cape. It's like someone put too much starch on it. It's, yeah, uh, what's it say? Uh, the Deluxe of Beast Machines Megatron had a better cake than this guy. It's horrendous. And that concludes my top five list of the worst Transformers I own. If there's, much, if there's enough positive news from this, I'll probably do the top five best Transformers I own. Well, uh, that's for another time. Okay, I have been Geeky Licious, and if you liked what you've seen, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. And I will see you next time.